breaking the wall of milk science and immunology, Seika Uchino, Falling Walls Lab, Sendai. Have you ever drunk milk? It's not the milk sold in supermarkets, but the milk from your mother's breast. Thanks to this, you have lived a healthy life. This is because milk contains a lot of immune components called antibodies that prevent children from getting sick. However, if the antibodies are not passed from a mother to a child for various reasons, the child is more susceptible to infections. This happens frequently in the livestock industry, and many babies die of diarrhea caused by viruses or bacteria. This is a big problem that reduces the productivity of farming all over the world. To solve this problem, I came up with a method to produce milk antibodies artificially. Let me show you how I do that. Normally, when antibody-producing cells are taken out of the mother's mammary glands, they die within two weeks. However, I was able to fuse the milk antibody-producing cells to a myeloma cell, which is a cell line derived from safe cancer cells. And since myeloma multiply forever, the milk antibody producing cells gain the ability to multiply without dying. With this method, I made the world's first cell line that produces a large amount of milk antibodies. And using this, I'll be able to put the milk antibodies to the feed of the baby livestock. In addition, since my research is fundamental using a mass model, it can be applied not only to livestock, but to human babies. In the future, this technology may help children dying of diarrhea in developing countries. Raising healthy babies without infectious disease. This is the goal of my research. Thank you very much. <laughs>